In this chapter, we're going to talk about frequency modulation synthesis, or FM synthesis. Now, FM synthesis was originally invented by Jonathan Chowning in the 1970s, but the very first synthesizer that came out to the public that used FM synthesis was the Yamaha DX7, which basically defined the sound of the 1980s. And it made those sort of cheesy pop piano sounds and bell sounds um, that are, you know, kind of associated with FM synthesis. However, it's had a bit of a resurgence in the recent times and it's great for making more modern bass sounds and harsh lead sounds. So it's a very digital type of synthesis. So what is FM synthesis? Well, it's essentially modulating the frequency of one oscillator with another oscillator. Now we've actually already looked at a form of FM synthesis before using vibrato and we already discussed that vibrato is basically changing the pitch or the frequency of an oscillator. So here I'm just using the factory default setting and I'm in the analog mode here and if I set my mix all the way to oscillator 2 actually we'll just hear oscillator 2. Now FM synthesizers didn't actually originally have filters so I'll just turn off the filter for now and I'm going to start with a simple waveform. So I'll set oscillator 2 to a triangle waveform because traditional FM synthesizers actually only work with sine waves. Now there's not actually a sine wave here in this analog section but a, a triangle wave is fairly close in that it doesn't contain too many harmonics. So it sounds like this. Okay, not very interesting, but I'm going to add some vibrato. Now, if I come to this vibrato section, and again, I'm going to turn down the slider here so that we're not controlling the vibrato with the modulation wheel, and now we can increase the amount of vibrato with this knob here. Okay, so usually this is used fairly subtly to um, just create a slight sort of pitch wobbling like this. But you can hear when we increase this really high, we'll get more of a siren-like sound. Or some sort of sci-fi sound. Now, if we come to the vibrato section here, which is essentially an LFO that's controlling the pitch, I'm going to turn sync off here and play with the rate. So normally this would be quite slow. So we can hear that. And as we increase the rate, we're going to hear something kind of interesting. At a certain point, you don't really hear the pitch sweeping up and down. You start to hear more distinct harmonics added to the sound. So we're actually, with a very fast vibrato, we're essentially adding more harmonics to the sound. And this is the basis of FM synthesis. And of course, you can play with different waveforms. different amounts of vibrato. Of course, on a proper MFM synthesizer, it's a lot more complicated. Typically, you're working not with one oscillator, but instead with several. And in FM speak, oscillators are called operators. So on the DX7, there were actually six different operators that were all sine waves and these could be configured into different configurations or algorithms and this created a very wide palette of sound. Now RetroSynth only has two operators or oscillators if you will and let's have a look at those in the next video.